hello and welcome to the new episode of And One. I'm here today with a guy whose career has skyrocketed all the way to Fenerbahce Istanbul in the last uh, two years. Akile Polanara. Hello. Hello, how are you? I'm good, thank you. What do you think has helped you to get where you are today, um, aside from the obvious hard work? For sure, I started to, to play Euroleague uh, late because I started like two years ago in, uh, in Vitoria and uh, I was the backup of uh, one of the best number four in uh, Europe, Toto Schengelia. So it helped me, it helped me a lot, uh, especially practicing against him. And uh, also if, it, if I didn't play a lot uh, the, the first part of the, my first season in Vitoria, uh, we, we changed coach and uh, with Ivanovic, my, my responsibility was uh, much uh, higher and uh, I start to play more minutes and uh, this helped me a lot because I play with more confidence and more uh, with more responsibility. Last year I, I was the, the starter, one of the starters in Vitoria, so I played a lot of minutes, I had the chance to miss uh, also some stuff and uh, I, for me it was a great experience because I played a lot of minutes against the, the best player in Europe and so was uh, was great for me. Last year for your country has been exceptional. Um, Eurovision, Euro 2020 football and qualifying for the Olympics. Yes. And uh, was there a day that you guys were not celebrating? <laughs> well, uh, after uh, six, 17 years uh, that uh, we didn't play the Olympics games, for us it was uh, amazing, you know, to reach uh, results like this, yeah. especially to beat uh, Serbia in Belgrade because uh, they have uh, an amazing team uh, with, uh, and, uh, and we play in Belgrade. So with, uh, with fans, everything was uh, very difficult uh, for us. And nobody bet, uh, I think, uh, one cent on us because uh, <laughs> we, I mean, we had a, we had a great team, but uh, I think we, we, we did have a lot of experience, you know, because mm -hmm. we had uh, also a young team. Uh, we missed some uh, veterans like uh, Datome, Gallinari, and uh, Bellinelli, but I think we, we deserve to win because we we really play aggressive all the games and uh, we we want we really want to to reach our result to to go to the Olympics because we we knew that uh, it was a great opportunity for us to show that uh, to everybody that uh, we could reach this. What did it mean to you to be in the Olympic team? It wasn't my first year on national team, but. Um, all the other year that I played for national team, I wasn't so important, you know, mm -hmm. for Italy, yeah, yeah, yeah. because I was the, like the backup. Many games I didn't play, and this year I was like the starter. I play a lot of minutes, and uh, you know, when you receive a lot of messages, when you receive a lot of good luck from uh, your people, from your families, you you understand that uh, you are very important for this team. So you had to do, to give everything for your country and. Uh, especially because uh, for us, for Italy, it's not, you know, so um, uh, common to play Olympics every yeah. year. So this is why we play 100% every, every game. Let's talk about food. <laughs> so you're Italian, your cuisine is worldwide famous. Do you have any secret mom, grandma recipes that you like cannot live without? Well, uh, <laughs> I'm terrible on, on kitchen. That was my I'm next question. I'm talking by myself. <laughs> that was my next question. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I love Italian food. Uh, like also today for lunch, I went to Italian restaurant here in Istanbul. Okay. <laughs> and uh, no, I'm, I'm very lucky because uh, my mother, my wife, uh, everybody uh, very, very good in kitchen. So what, what kind of food is your favorite? My favorite food is pasta or pizza. Okay. Carbolots. <laughs> very, very stereotypical. Yeah. I love those two, by the yeah. way. <laughs> That's great. If not Italian food, what's your like next best thing? Uh, also Turkish food. I, I love it because uh, I think they have the best meat that I ever tried. Mm -hmm. I like sushi. I like uh, like pita. I, I like a lot of uh, also different food. Mexican food also. Oh, yeah. Fajitas. I, I like also try to to eat a different food, but my, my furry one is Italian. <laughs> so let's talk a little bit about your shoe game. It's great. Yeah. Um, it's important to you, obviously. Yeah, for sure. It's important, uh, especially. OK, first of all, they have to be like comfortable for yeah. me. And uh, but uh, 
also if they are you know nice or uh, they are popular is uh, is better for me and for my performance okay that gives you the extra confidence yeah, exactly, yeah. Exactly, that's great exactly. that's great i like that uh how do you source your shoes do you look look for them yourself because i know some of them are hard to get do you look for them yourself or do you have someone working on that for you <laughs> no i mean uh, i decide for me i mean by myself uh, uh, i'm I'm lucky because uh, many times Nike send me some uh, pair okay. of shoes also mm -hmm. for working, some Jordans too. And uh, but uh, I'm uh, sneakers addicted, so <laughs> I try to also buy some uh, uh, very popular shoes on StockX. That is a yeah. famous app. That's and, a great uh, one. So. Okay, and your number one uh, basketball shoe ever? Kobe's. Just Kobe's all four six Kobe's, any? Kobe, or Kobe six or Kobe five. Okay, okay. Yes. What about the leisure shoe? Like some Nikes that you can just or Nike? I see Nikes. Uh, the most common shoes that I wanna I like to wear is uh, Air Force One yeah. or Jordan ones. Okay. Yes. So you have quite a lot of tattoos and uh, dates and quotes and everything. Uh, what do they mean to you? Okay, I have a lot of tattoos, but uh, my my most important one is the the tattoo about my family. Mm -hmm. I got the name of my mother, the name of my father, and uh, this one that is uh, like me, my wife, my daughter, and my two little dogs. And uh, I did it uh, this summer. And also one other important tattoo for me is this one. Tokyo. Yeah, Tokyo 2020. And uh, these are the most important for me. I love, I love yeah. them. They're really cool. In this gorgeous Ulker Arena, uh, you got two big airlines, Vesely Airline and uh, Polonair. <laughs> it's a big competition and a small market. Um, are there any scheduling issues for takeoff sometimes? <laughs> well, uh, Vesely is like God. <laughs> Is, uh, is very important for uh, for this team. <coughs> it's uh, eight years that he play here, so he's like uh, one of the most important players that uh, Fenerbahce had in, uh, in the story. And uh, but okay, I'm uh, I'm very honored to be a, one part of uh, airlines uh, with him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad. Um, high flyers oh, uh, like you always have end ones. Oh, not always, often have end ones and. Um, you always have great celebrations after. Would you mind giving me your best and one celebration? Uh, I don't have like uh, the best one celebration, but uh, what I can see, I can tell you is that uh, when I do something that uh, give me like some energy, some intensity, celebrating for me is important because it, it gives me more energy and more, uh, mm -hmm. more intensity also for the upcom upcoming game. Yeah, okay. So do you have something? You do you yell? Do you no, scream? but uh, when I when I do some uh, one, when I score some uh, one, uh, like uh, I I like to scream, I like to do ah like this, you know. But uh, like I tell you before, um, uh, it give me like some uh, some power, some energy for the upcoming uh, game. Yeah, of course, of course. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. That was great.